Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is the 19th. I think it is. No, it's now the 20th, but it was the 19th last night when I was at this. It was actually tonight, but it's just turned into, it's like 1.30 in the morning. I just got home from an amazing night. And this is just an evening in Los Angeles, which was just fantastic. I went to see L. Ron Hubbard's great grandson, Jamie DeWolf, who is always, always amazing. If you've never heard him, type his name in, in YouTube and listen to some of his things. He's fantastic. If you're anywhere near Jamie and you get a chance to go see him, anytime he's around, if he, if I hear he's coming, I'm there. And I never ever, ever, have I ever, ever been like, eh, I already know this stuff. I'm not interested. I've heard some of his stories over and over. They're fantastic. I met him in 2000. I escaped out of the Church of Scientology and he was in Clearwater starting to speak out about his whole family and it being the great grandson of L. Ron Hubbard. And uh, it's pretty amazing, his whole story. So anyway, I'll try to put in a link for him and then also the main person that was here is this gentleman, Sean, Shane, who was, this is just one of his books. He's written a ton of books, but that's his name. He's a poet and he's amazing. I am not really a big fan of poetry. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go see Jamie and then we'll see if I stay for the poet. You know, I might. And, but then once I was there, I thought, all right, I'll stay. You know, Jamie said, he's fantastic. And you've got to stay and hear him. And I said, okay, all right, I will. But I'm really not a big fan of poetry. And I want to tell you, this guy knocked it out of the park. It's amazing. You can type in his name. Here's his name. I'll put a, I'll put a link actually in the thing, in the thing of him talking on Ted talks, but that's his name. And he, you can type his name in in YouTube, and he's got different things he's done, but he's an incredible person. He's really a storyteller, I would say, more than a poet. And I just, I loved it. Every single one. Nora came. We both had a fantastic time. And uh, I'll try to put some pictures on in here also. But I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're in LA, there's so many wonderful things that we have access to. And if you can at all, it, it does take a different shift of your mindset though it does and i when i left the church of scientology because they were so controlling and stopping and you know don't do this and you can't look at this so when i finally left i thought i don't care what it is if somebody invites me to something i'm going and i've had so many fun things that i've gone to but um this was wonderful this was really really fun because um the more I've been in LA, the more I kind of try to go places whenever somebody comes in town or I hear of something neat, I'm, I'm there. And if there's anybody here in LA that wants to go on adventures, call me because I'm, I'm up for it. I really am. I love it. I love seeing you, Jamie. You were fantastic. Shane, oh, you touched my heart amazingly. I really hope people, he, he does apparently a lot in Europe. So for the Europeans, you'll probably get to see him. He's from Canada. Um, anyway, he's just a fantastic guy, really terrific. Both of them in a combination were just out the top. It was a full house, stand up, standing ovation. And, uh, Jamie told me, so it's every night he gets a standing ovation and it, and he deserves it. So that's all. I just wanted to tell you guys, that's what I did tonight. It was fantastic. And if you get a chance when you're in LA, it does take that shutting off the computer, getting in your car and going somewhere. It does. And I know it's like, oh, it's five o'clock it's six o'clock. I don't want to drive at that time. But you know what? If you just get in your car and you start going pretty soon, you get to the place and then there, then you're there and you're in a whole different world. And it's amazing. So that's all. I love you guys. And, um, what is it? It's Wednesday. So tomorrow's Thursday up too, or actually today, I guess. Um, yeah, today's the 20th now. So it's Thursday at two. Time for some suppressive actions before two o'clock. All right. Anyway, I love you guys. Peace out.